Welcome back. For the past few weeks, the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris have captivated the world with athletic triumphs and backstories of heartache, perseverance, and in some cases, political strife. Well, there's a new book written about the global competition in a different but significant era. It's out now. It's called Played, the Games of the 1936 Berlin Olympics. It explores the history and politics behind the competition. Joining us today are co-authors Rick Kaufman and Glenn Allen. Welcome to you both. So I'm going to start with you, Rick, briefly. Tell us what the book is about. Well, it is about the interplay of the politics and the athletics that were going on during the hysteria of the mid-30s not only in Germany, obviously that was nuts, but here in America as well. You know, we weren't too good about our race or, or anti-Semitism here in America. So there was a lot of craziness going on all around the world. And we make that balance and everything that we talk about is leading towards the 1936 games. So you see all these human stories and on the both the German and the American side, and, and really the, the global players, mm. uh, the event coordinators, the athletes, the, the politicians, everybody. And yeah. it's quite the swing, uh, soap opera. Quite, quite the tale to tell. Glenn, you've worked yeah. together on many creative projects over the years. So what made you want to write about the intersection of sports and politics? Well, this was something that Rick brought to my attention. We were making a film back in the 90s, and he brought this magazine to me. And initially, I, it, the idea of sports mixing with politics um, really grabbed me. But then as we got into the stories of the athletes, it just became so much bigger. Sure. And we thought maybe we'd make it into a movie, but you know, it, it became so big and so important. Uh, Rick, you know, this is an historical novel. The events are real. The people are real. One of the most famous athletes of the 1936 Olympics was track and field star Jesse Owens, who won four gold medals at that Olympics. Tell us about the circumstances around that fourth gold medal. So it's very interesting. You know, there always is a tragedy before champion, you know, before the champion. But during uh, the, the whole Olympics, leading up to the Olympics, the 4 by 100 relay was going to be run by uh, two Jewish runners. The only two Jews on the whole American Olympic team were two people that were part of this relay. And on the morning of the race, they were told that they couldn't run. And that was Jesse's opportunity for the fourth goal. Now, and they couldn't run because they were in Nazi Germany. Well, they couldn't run because the American Olympic Committee head, Avery Brundage, uh -huh. who was our main antagonist, was acquiescing to the Nazis who mm. pressured him, said, look, we've already accepted that your blacks are winning, but do you really have to run Jews? Mm. And so he did a horrible thing. Mm, 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 mm. So, uh, Glenn, many modern day athletes would have been bothered by the substitution. What do you know about how Jesse Owens felt about what was going on at the time? Well, in our research, we, we discovered that, you know, Jesse's attitude and he had the same uh, attitude as some of our other, our other black athletes was that they said, look at how we're being treated at home. So comparing the way Jews were being treated in Germany, they could relate to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so Jesse, you know, the way he was treated back in America, um, you know, I, I don't think he had all that much sympathy at the time. Mm. It was a terrible, terrible period uh, uh, for sure. Glenn, politics inserts itself into sports today. Are you seeing that in uh, anywhere in this year's Olympics? And, and how do you think the role of athletes has changed over the years? Well, it, it's all over the place, obviously, with what's going on in Israel, Palestine, and Ukraine, and uh, other places. But what I love about it, and this is a big part of the book, is how the athletes rise above it. And you see great you know, feats of sportsmanship uh, and great effort and the competition. It, it's, it's fantastic. And I just saw it la last night. There was a great moment of sportsmanship. And, and it's great to see the athletes rise above it, as it should be. That's what the Olympics are supposed to be. But a lot of times, uh, you know, politics uh, sticks their muddy fingers into it. 
You know, I think if you have talked to the athletes at all, they're all about the sport. And for them, the politics is secondary. They're there uh, for the spirit of competition, right? Yeah, that's absolutely true. They, they want to compete. You know, they're, they're young and they know that they're not going to have too many shots at this. And they want to be called the very best and they want to represent their country. You know, I feel really bad for some of these Russian athletes who, you know, they're, they're there and it's just, you know, I'm sure it would be, it would mean a lot more to them if they could be proud of who they're representing. Rick, what and are the plans it, uh, for the book and, and the story that you've written? Well, we have it in the hands of some very big people out in Hollywood, and we're really hoping that we can make this into a, you know, a series, a limited series, uh, because we feel like it's perfect for that kind of, of medium. And we really want to tell these stories. You know, when you, when you see the athletes win and what they go through, it, it is, you still cry. I mean, it just moves you so much, and especially these athletes, we want people to see what they overcame. And we can learn from our history, right? We can learn from what came before us. Rick and Glenn, thank you both for joining us. Once again, the book is called Played, the Games of the 1936 Berlin Olympics.